The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of the Nikkei stock averages going back to 1970. Now, you notice 1990. The high was on New Year's Eve, 1989. I'll bring that story to your attention in just a moment. But I want you to look over on the left here where it was trading in 1975. You see that it went up 10 times in 14 years. It was a 14-year bull market. It topped there. It's never exceeded that. Uh, we've come up to about 31,000 or 32,000. I don't even know for sure, but uh, the low was down here at 7,000, which was back in uh, 2009 with the rest of the markets were closing. But you'll notice that the Dow Jones was trading at 550 in December of 1975. It's gone up 69 times. Can you imagine that? 10 times versus 69 times? That's truly an amazing statistic. Now, let me explain to you what was happening to me personally when that was going on. It was going to be a New Year's Eve party in San Diego with one of the Drexel customers that Twenty Mun and I had for many, many years. I want to get this up here to show you where we are. This was the December uh, of 1989. Uh, from that uh, meeting or that weekend, uh, Jim and I were going on into Los Angeles where there was going to be a traders conference. I was one of the speakers and uh, it was from Jim Sugarman and Tim Borkwin, the two gentlemen that started the money show and it was the very, very first money show. And uh, we were given, uh, I was asked to speak, and I asked him, he said, it was a real casual group, so I went over in cowboy boots, Levi's, and my cowboy hat, and we got there, and there were 2,500 people there, including uh, television cameras. This was the start, folks, of CNBC. Uh, Sue Herrera had gone to New York to get permission to get a financial channel started, and it was 1990, and I think it started late 1990, if I'm not mistaken, and it's been going bonkers uh, ever since. But anyway, that's, that's how it all got started. Let me explain to you what was happening in Japan at that time. That weekend of the last weekend of the year, one of the shows that 60 Minutes had is the soaring stock market going to 40,000. Didn't quite get there. And uh, they had had one of the, the reporters was uh, on the front, uh, the beginning, and not the, the front of the Imperial Palace. And they had uh, a big, big promotion there. And the reporter pulled out a $1,000 bill with the picture of Grover Cleveland on it, $1,000 bill. And he laid it on the ground and they put a quick shot on it, showing it. And he said, this is how much real estate you can buy in U.S. dollars in Japan. So you put a $1,000 bill, three by, five by three, you could buy five inches by three inches for $1,000, folks. Now, that's what we were facing at that time. And of course, that was the top of the market. It dropped 90% uh, in value, then bounced around, and it's been in a down, well, it's been in a consolidation range between uh, 39.9 and uh, I think what was the low uh, 7900, which was on October, was on March the 5th of 2009, of when that marked off. So that's just telling you that these markets get a little bit overextended. Now, can you imagine where we are compared to where that they were at that time? The only similarities that I can find in these charts, and that was the question someone asked me, is this chart that I'm showing 1989, and if you notice the bottom there at 26, 000, roughly 27,000 in the NEK, it ran from 27,000 to 39,000. And that was a 33% move in 13 weeks, or thir yeah, th uh, 13 weeks, 13 months, in 13 months, okay? So what we've done so far in the Dow Jones is from the low we made down there at 25,000, we got all the way up to uh, 38,000, and you'll never guess what that is. 
38%. So that's going to be really interesting if that means anything. And I don't know if it does. It really doesn't mean anything to me because I'm going to be trading the patterns. I don't care whether it's top or not. Yeah, so sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. But, you know, I'm just looking to trade the patterns. That's all I'm trying to do. So that's what uh, I'm looking at today. Uh, I wanted to give that information to you because I think it was important what happened during those times. And I know I do. I want to share something else to you that happened right after that. Let's get this up here. You'll notice this section right here after the top was made in the Nikkei right here. This was a uh, you know monthly chart. So you see it came. This, this happens to be, excuse me, a weekly chart. It, it had a big break and then it rallied right up to this level right here. If you looked at it on the daily, it was a perfect ABCD. It was in March of that year and I was in uh, at Pepperdine University outside of Los Angeles overlooking the Pacific Ocean. I gave a talk on uh, to their uh, their uh, investment committee every year since about oh dear 1989 that was my first year and I did that all the way through uh, 2005 2006 and uh, but anyway at that point right here I said, this is where you want to be liquidating. And they were heavily involved in the, in the Japanese market. Over 60% of their portfolio was in the Japanese market. And what was happening is the students now had voting rights in that uh, group of, you know, putting the money. In, you had no experience, but they had, they had votes. And fortunately, what they did was they decided to get out of the NASDAQ and go into exotic art. You know, uh, some, you know, just expensive art is what they decided to do and turned out to be the home run of home runs. They also went into real estate, which, you know, bottomed back in 2009, uh, but they did okay in that also in the Los Angeles area. But that was the big change that was made. And uh, so anyway, that's been going. After, after the bottom in 2009, uh, that was the last time that uh, I had made a uh, idea of where things might be going and – they, all the people that were there had gone and moved away and nobody even remembered who I was. Okay, and I wanted to share, there's a lot of stuff going on out here about seasonalities and market structure and all this stuff. Now, this happens to be a uh, seasonal pattern since 1952. Okay, now that's a long time, folks. Remember, this is 2024, so that's 72 years. 72 years this has been going on. It just shows that the sitting president running has a positive bias. That's all that says. Okay, and it says if there's an open field, there is no bias. It's more negative. And in, in all election years, it still has a positive bias. But, folks, what you don't realize, this positive bias in the stock market has been there before the elections. You know, the, these that's all that is. They're using the elections as some type of a barometer, and it's really not. That's just a four-year cycle. And sure, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But we've been in a bull market in the United States, folks. Basil, I hope you're listening because it was July the 8th. Oh, God, I hope I'm doing this right, Basil. July the 8th, Dow Jones at $41 as it was at the bottom and at the top. On September the 20, September 3rd, 1929, it was trading at 383. It went from 383 to 41, and that was the bottom of the stock market. So let's take a break here, and we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, 
is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, we're going to take a look at the E-mini S&P here today. Uh, this is one of the ones we focused on in the uh, video this morning. Uh, we had a really nice ABCD down here to the 61% retracement. It went below it by six points. Folks, when you're trading the S&P now, it's hard to trade it, trade it with less than a 10-point stop because these folks that know these algorithms have got their order sitting there, and they'll exceed it by just a little bit and then run. So you've got to get at least a 10 or 15-point stop. But you can see we went down to a 74. We rallied up to within one tick of the exact 382. That was at 99, and it came in at 98. So that missed it by a penny, and that's still valid because we could still make a little bit higher. But I think this would be the one to sell with your stop above this level uh, right here. We've got some big volatility coming ahead of time, but we need to be watching that very closely. A perfect example of this is one that we had on the videos uh, from the, uh, Monday night after those incredible football games, just absolutely uh, entertaining. I'm not a, much of a football fan, fan, but I love athletics, and golly, gee, that was really spectacular. There was the crude oil. Here's where we were last week, if you'll remember. We were completing this uh, beautiful pattern up here, this three-drive pattern, your double A, B, C, D, and now you came down, and we said to sell the 382 up here at 73.14. you got to put your stop about a buck above it, you got to trade a dollar a barrel now, folks, because these things jump around. You can see here we broke down, okay, and now what we've done is we said, look, if you're if you're risking a thousand dollars in something and you make a thousand dollars, which was right here, you have to take that because you don't know when the market's going to reverse. But you're in the business of booking profits. 
this is a 60 minute chart. So this took a long time. It took three days to get up there, okay? Now, look what happened in one day. It gets down to this level right here. Sure, there's the possibility with this news across the Red Sea is so bullish. <laughs> we can see what's happening to the bullish, right? Thing you got, you got bullish news and really super bad action. And that could take us all the way down to 68 bucks, folks. That's another $3 a barrel lower. So what we're watching now is to watch what the 382 retracement's going to be. So all you have to do is to go back to your last high right here and mark it in, and then you're going to see that would come in up here at around half a dollar higher here at 71.56. Okay, now that's the crude oil. Now if it's crude oil is a little too uh, rich for your blood, then go down to the treasury bonds. Here's one that we really wanted to be a seller of on uh, – Monday night, but unfortunately, it opened it opened sharply lower here. You'll see here on uh, there's the uh, right here was the opening here on uh, Sunday night, and uh, you can see uh, excuse me Monday night that was the holiday, and then we broke down and look what we did we rallied exactly to the 382 retracement of the high right back there. Let's just draw it again so you can see how important these ratios are. They don't work all the time, but I have a big flash news for you folks. Nothing works all the time except taxes and you, you know what else. There's your 382 right there, and that would have made 500 bucks if you were in that. So that's what you're looking at. So you've completed the ABCD to the downside. There's your 1.618 expansion of this whole move. Okay, that also verified. Folks, these algorithmic traders, they know these numbers. They really do. So what we need to do now is go to the hourly chart to see why it stopped at 2309 if we can figure that out that'll give us a pretty good idea so we just move this over and now we see that there's been a pretty brick break here as a matter of fact it's dropped uh, two and a half points which is a pretty substantial break does it fit in with a 382 retracement of way back here so that's what we're going to look at this morning and folks i have not done this as of yet so get ready to get the napkin out and wipe the egg off my face because it came very very close it came within believe it or not two pips three pips of the exact low at the 382 that still is probably outstanding but look at this we've taken out the lows of the last 10 days and didn't go anywhere and we already know looking at this bond this is a valid abcd and what did gartley say buy the abcds in a bull market and boy there was one right there so that's what we're paying attention to here uh, in the uh, Treasury bonds. Now, the next one that's interesting is the gold market. So we want to get it up here, and we'll be able to see where we stand. This is a really short term. Here's what we sent out in the video last night. We said, look, we had an ABCD forming here. My assumption was to sell it here at 2079. Uh, stop above here. you got to risk $10. There's, there's this area where you want to put the stop in. Can't risk any more than 10. It went up there against it a little bit here at the 61% retracement, then came down and made your profit objective. Because you're risking 10, it made your profit objective of 10, plus it made another 5 if you stayed with it. And look, if, you'd, you'd, if you use this 382 as your gauge, which you should do, see, because after the market breaks strongly, it rallies back to the 382. That's the rules. That you've rolled the Fibonacci and Da Vinci and Pythagoras and all these dudes. There's your 382 retracement. That sets up the A, B, C, D down here just a little bit lower. And look, look, oh my goodness, where it comes in. You put this in right here, and it comes in right at the 1.618 expansion. And from that level, it has a nice strong rally. You've got to redo this because you're in the midst of a, being a pattern recognition swing trader. So you measure the last high. I can see it's right at 50%. Oops, yep, there it is right there. There's your 50% rally. There's your 382 is at 73. 50% is at 76. And this is at 79. And now you're just backing and filling in here right now so that's a strategy that when you're trading the gold market these are stop and think folks fifteen hundred dollars in gold is like dirty handles in the s p so there's those are substantial moves and you want to try to take advantage of them the best you possibly can okay now i did something else over the weekend as i looked at all of the dow stocks that were triple digits just to see if there were a lot of patterns forming 
uh, making highs that you could, you know, validate that, yeah, maybe this uh, 38,000 in the Dow Jones is something significant. And I don't know whether it is or not. And people say, well, if you don't know, what am I paying you for? Well, nobody knows for sure, boys and girls. Get that straight across your brow. Put a big thing on it instead of saying, you know, I'm if, when you're playing poker, if you're in a game and you don't know who the sucker is, look in the mirror, it's you. <laughs> so you want to you want to be not to be that sucker. Just play play the game like it should. Watch how the swings unfold. And that's what you want to be looking at. That We had a big tournament here on Christmas, New Year's Day. And if we got down to the final 10 players, I was the 10th player and I had a pair of sevens and I made bet everything I had on the pair of sevens and a seven came on the board. And I had an absolute sure winner until the last card came, and it was a king, and another player had a pair of kings, so his three kings beat my three sevens, so I walked away with, uh, uh, what did I get, $140 for eight hours of play, so almost like working in McDonald's, but I had a lot of fun. We got to watch some really exciting football games, which was really, uh, really, really great. And I watched these guys bet, oh, my God, the amount of money that they bet on these games. And they, these folks can't afford it, folks. Anyway, that's it. Let's take a little break here. 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Okay, folks, I put up the chart here of a natural gas. This is an hourly chart here uh, going back over the last several weeks. Here's what we've been doing since the beginning of the year. This was New Year's Day. Uh, we rallied up here in the overnight market up to the uh, – a three eight two fifty percent level of you can you can just put the daily up you can see how what a downtrend this has been in okay so this is what we're looking at right now this is what our one of our trades of the day was to sell that three eight two retracement here but unfortunately it was right here and it missed it by uh, about four points which is about uh, two hundred dollars but it didn't quite get there and the other thing is is it also did not make the ABCD. I'm going to go into this in a shorter time frame, but looking at it on just on the daily, you can see the really beautiful ABCD up here at this level of 272. So what we were looking at was the hourly chart, and as you can see, we had a lot of ABCDs coming up into this area, and I, I said, look, let's just wait till we get up to this level right here. Because we had a little bit of a 382 pullback, and then we went up to make this. But, boy, when we came back down through that, that's a sign saying, hey, this thing's not done, you know, uh, going down as of yet. So we're still waiting for this number right here, 2.72. And still here in Tucson, we have do not have any uh, propane gas for your barbecue pits or campers. I don't have a camper, but I do have a barbecue, and there's none available. So uh, this is where we're heading down. Now let's let's look at this from a technical standpoint, like we try to do. The last time we had a really good correction was right here. The market went from 260 down to 236. Okay, that is uh, 2400. That's quite a bit. That's about $1,200. So we expect that to happen again because what happens once will usually happen again. So you just take your marker, move right over here, and you put your little lever right there, and then you want to know that this is where we're going to come to. Well, look where that happens, folks. Let's get this back to where it belongs. Whoops, that's not the one that belongs. Just move this over a little bit here. So we want to keep this in context of what we're doing. So here is our pullback numbers. We'll get this out of the way. So from the last low, major low, to this high right here, we're below the 382 right now heading down. So what we're expecting it to come to, the first level would be right here. Ah, stop that. You go from this level right here. That's your 61% level. And look right about below that is going to be your 78% level. See how they're both coming in together here? Now what you have to do is when you get to these levels here, this is where you decide where you want to trade. Now remember, this move right here, let's just go back and look at it. If it's going to repeat, it says it's going to go down to the 78% level, doesn't it? And we're still basically in a bear market, so why wouldn't it? So I would have to say that you'd like to get it down here to this 242 level. Now this is an hourly chart. So it takes several days for these things to form. So maybe by Thursday or Friday, we're going to have something really neat to look at where we could get something like this happening in the net, in this. You come down to the 50% level, and then you rally up to maybe right there, and then come down to this level. Oh, now you've got a whole lot of things going on. You've got your beautiful ABCD coming in right at the 78% level. Gee, that's about everything you possibly could ask for. So there's a level that we're going to be watching for this week in the natural gas, and that is at 242. Folks, that is not very far away. That is about four or five trades of the active boys from Singapore, which is the capital of natural gas. Why, I don't know, but crude oil and natural gas, that's where the players are. If you remember the dude over there, uh, when oil got down to minus $27 a barrel or whatever it was, he was trapped, remember, in the long uh, oil back in April of two years ago. Well, that's where they trade. and you know, they, have, they made all that money back, so you don't have to worry about them. They're going to be just fine. So there's what we're watching here in the natural gas. So we want to keep our, our, keep our uh, powder dry till we get to uh, this level right here, and then we'll be able to uh, – 
get to that point right now. Okay, so let's move on here to one that just uh, doesn't make me very happy, doesn't make me sad, but I really wanted to buy cattle here today, folks. Closed near the low on Friday. Today we opened about a point higher and just took off. We rallied up three points. And uh, we, you know, we bought cattle here and we sold it there. So we, we had a really nice run. We made eight cents in cattle. Okay, and then we missed this 382 right here for technical reasons that not related to anything else. But, but also on another matter, you know, most of you have been listening to me. I've been complaining about the technical problems. I'm, they're building a, a trading platform for me, folks. And I, I think we're going to be able to demonstrate that here in the next couple of weeks. But it's got everything in it that I want. I think I might even have a quick picture of it here. Let's just take a look at it. Uh, nope, it's not set up right now. I've got a it's, it just doesn't have the uh, thing in it right now. So that's that's I'll do that a little bit later. But see, I I when I started trading, folks, this is back in the 60s. You know, in commodities, there were about 16 things you could trade. That was including the softs, you know, coffee, cocoa, sugar, that kind of stuff. And uh, but what happens now is that if you look at uh, trading platform for uh, CQG or for uh, interactive brokers, I don't know if Thinkorswim has or not, there is a quarter of a million things that you can trade, including spreads and options and all this other stuff. A quarter of a million. How did they keep up with all that? That's where my problem lies. See, I don't want, I don't want that two uh, quarter of a million. I don't want that two hundred and forty nine thousand. Uh, 880, I want those 20 or 30 things that I can literally put up and see where the buy sell is, okay, see where I can put my stop in, see how I can cancel it quickly, and how I can move my order to, to a trailing stop, whatever I want to do, and do it very efficiently. The problem was these platforms are built for the, uh, the younger generation. Well, everybody's younger than me. Well, almost everybody. Okay, anyway, that's that's what the problem is. Now I finally got one that is built, and it's uh, it's, it's not operable today. Hopefully it will be operable, operable tomorrow, and it doesn't make any difference. Someday this week it will be ready to go, and we'll be watching it. So that's the one we're watching. Now, also, if you remember, we were friendly to the hog market, and I want to get hogs up here because I was able to get a really nice honey-baked ham after, uh, for the holiday, and uh, – able to enjoy it with our neighbors hold on here one second here where are the piggies at they're up here he there we go here we go here's the pigs and oh look at this the piggies came down today oh i didn't even see that son of a gun that's good oh good 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 we're going to be buying hogs here very very close folks uh Wow, there's a good idea where the trading platform didn't tell me about hogs. I didn't have that on the trading platform, so I didn't even notice that this was happening. Wow. See, we opened a little bit higher, and then, boy, they just literally collapsed hogs, made new lows here, which is not unusual. So here's where we are. There's the big ABCD. Oh, we've made that. Get ready to buy the piggies, boys and girls. This is Mother God and Country stuff. There's your A. BCD measures to 115.15, and we're trading there right now, 65.17. If you did it, you got a profit in it of $8.60. Let's take a little break, 877-927-6648. Stay tuned for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I'm going to go through a couple of Dow stocks. What I did was I picked out the uh, triple digit dudes in the Dow, you know, Dow 30. There are 16 of them that are in triple digits. This is uh, Home Depot. You can see here our low on October 27th. We went up and we took out the highs, just like we took out the lows here. We've taken out the highs. There's not an ABCD here pattern, folks. This is just an expanding triangle. That's all it is. Nothing more than that. Next one we're going to take a look at is Boeing Airlines. Let's get this up here for a second, and I will put the uh, daily chart on this because this has been a huge mover, folks. Remember, the Dow stocks are price-weighted. They're not cap-weighted. And you can see this is still in a pretty big downtrend here. There was a 50% retracement, and then we've rallied up to this level right here. This is the daily. So what we want to do is we want to measure it from the last high that was way back here. There was your your head of your head and shoulders pattern, and you bring it down to the low that it made right here. You'll see the first correction back went exactly to 61% retracement, and we haven't made it back to that level as of yet. Okay, now. Let's take a look at uh, one that is going to the wacko. No, not wacko. What am I talking to? The stratosphere. <laughs> Hold on a second here. Here is Microsoft Softy. And you'll notice here that we made a top here on uh, the 27th of November, 28th of November. And uh, that was went up a month straight up, made a 1.27 expansion. And we've been going sideways for a month. So it's a little bit of consolidation or distribution, whatever you want to call it, up into this level right here. Should we get below this, this will tell us that, yes, this is a possibility. This could be a pretty significant top. But then we're not in the business of picking a top. We're in the business of picking a pattern. So if I had to pick one here, I would blow this up like this. And I can see that we do have a potential for a double ABCD pattern right here. There's ABCD right there. And then we've got another ABCD right behind it, AB. There's a high on Friday. These are basically the same. I'll take the highest high and look where it comes in. They come in at the same price, roughly within a dollar, $379, $10 higher. So I'm going to put my limit minder on here because if we get up there, that will be a legitimate tradable pattern for me because you've got one ABCD pattern right there and you've got another ABCD pattern 
coming in right behind it, coming in right there. So that's what your sale is. Your risk is above here. That's mother, God, and country, folks. That's what you got to look at. ABCDs work part of the time, but they don't work all of the time. Look at the bottom that we had right back here. You had a nice bottom, lower low by just a little bit. You rally up, you come down, you go right up. Tell me these things don't work some of the time. There's your high, 383. That's what we're watching to see, folks. Keep those things in mind because those are the ones that bring you to the promised land. Now, let's get back into the pharmaceutical business because there's several of these here that are going wacko to the upside. Here is Johnson & Johnson. We're going to put this up on a long-term daily so you can see it because it also is lagging the market considerably. Now, this is a daily chart. Okay, now look, we had a high here at 62. We're at 59 now. So what we need to do is to find out if this is a significant ratio off of the high. Of course, I wouldn't say that unless I thought it was exactly 618. <laughs> Let's see what it was. Nope, it was 50%. We did take out the highs of December, but now we're trading below that to 160. So all we did was make that. Let's see what the, this was probably. There was a high here. This might be 786, but I doubt it. Yeah, there's, it's exactly 786 off of this high right here, okay, and it's exactly roughly, well, it is exact, 50% off of this high right back there. So that's what we're, that's what we're looking at. This means that this should have been the end of this. This might be the last little jump. This is price weighted. This is the, one of the reasons why the Dow jumped up so much because the low was 156, the high was 162. That's a big jump. So let's remind ourselves of that. When it's price weighted, it's not cap weighted. So you got to measure it differently. Now here's the one that, uh, regards to the big money lenders, going back to the Knights Templar from uh, 1706 on Trescai Docophobia, the fear of the number 13th on what it was October the 13th of I think 2007 is when they ceased to exist. Let's get the monthly chart up here for. There we go. Now, you see monthly chart. We are just going back. The last pullback that we had here, 2022, market's still going in a sideways range from our high. We've been setting right at the uh, – hasn't gotten above the 78% level since we started uh, way back here. We came close a few times, but this is still leading the pack up. And as of today's action, let's just get this up today. <clears throat> you'll see we've had a big move here. Uh, today, we had a lower low and then a higher high, so we went back and taken out that high again. So this is another reason <clears throat> why the Dow Jones is still uh, going up. Look at this beautiful bottom, though, here on the 27th of October, folks. You'll see there's where we were right there, and there's the big move up to the upside uh, right here. A couple more to go through here. We want to do a few of the oil stocks because these are the ones that are – not getting very good responses considering the news that we have going. You see the daily, we were lower, now we're higher on the day here. Wait a minute. This is Chevron at 814. There's no way that Chev that's the wrong symbol. I yeah, there's no way that's the right symbol. No, I got CHV, I don't know what that is. Chevron, that's wrong. Sorry. Next question. Let's get back to another one here, which was the uh, Oh, where was another oil stock? There was another oil stock I had. CVX. Thank you very much, Michelle. That was – let's just get CVX here to make sure I do it the right way. <laughs> Hold on a second here. Uh, probably uh, – CV – I got CV – it's CVX. CVX. Okay. Put that up here, and you'll see that uh, – well, this is not a very bullish stock for uh, CHX. I never was good in – I was good in ciphering, but I never did good with the with the letters. The letters always gave me a lot of trouble. So let's try it from the very beginning. C V X. There we go, right here. <clears throat> and you'll see it's at 150, and it's barely making a 382 retracement of the uh, look. See, this thing was making a high in October. It didn't do anything on the bottom here in October, and now we're at a 382 retracement from that other high. So these oil stocks are not looking very good, boys and girls. Look at that. Just barely at the 382. That's not a good sign, is it? I wouldn't think it would be. And it's acting like that in the futures market, too. All right, next one we want to look at, everyone's favorite, Mr. Appel, who's down by the well, got a downgrade today by one of their favorite followers. 
I don't know how much he's looking for it, but uh, we'll see what happens. There's the uh, get the uh, daily out here to see where we are. We're look at this gap down now, folks. That is not a bullish sign for Apple when it gaps down that much. It did it here. Look, and we went down from uh, 185. We went all the way down to 166. So that it does bounce back, but this is not a good sign. Here was the key right here. Let's go to the 60 minute. I don't trade these things, but this is what we like to see. There's our there's our rally. There you can see from your high right here down to your low. Where'd we go to, boys and girls? Oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. 382 is what it'll do. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, sir, folks, before I ever start to talk about a stock again, I'm going to put a, a, a cautionary sign out. The Mexican word for caution is cuidado, means danger, because, folks, I don't do stocks. I, I mean, I really don't do stocks. Let me show you where the problem lies. You'll notice here on this hourly chart, you don't see a big gap, do you? But when you look at it on the daily chart, you see here this huge gap, right? The reason is 
I have end of day data. So this will not fill in till tonight because the high was actually right up in here about 188. We're at 185 right now. So you got to remember that. That's why we do it. See, later on it'll fill in whatever that high was, but not on that hourly chart. So when you see that, and I quickly saw that, that there was not that big of a gap in the Apple, that it dropped with good selling from 91 to 85. But still, it is a move down, and that's really the bottom line of what you're looking at right now. Well, let's quickly go back to our original program here and see where we are with some of these other things that we talked about just a little earlier, especially the S&P and the uh, crude oil and the natural gas and some of these others because this is where we want to be strategizing for what we want to be looking at. You see the crude oil is still heading down. Okay, the uh, S&P, how high did we get? Did we get any higher? See, the cattle is still up. The S&P did not make it, you see. Right there was your 382. It didn't quite get there. It's down to 84 right now, so that's still heading lower. The gold is still heading lower. The natural gas is still heading lower right here. You see it's still coming down, so we're looking at that. Remember, coming down here at around 30, I believe the number was, uh, what was it, 30 something? Yeah, right here at around 38, I believe. Was, no, this level right here. It's going to be right in here at the 786 of this number right here, which would be at 41. So keep a eye on that. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude. May God bless. Jeff Huge is our guest tomorrow. And Happy New Year to everyone here. And if you're not here, Happy New Year anyway. <laughs>